your BCC recap for your Board of County Commissioners meeting for June 5th, 2018. A work session was held to discuss a move to restrict sales of cats and dogs in Orange County. Across Florida, there are currently 60 counties and cities that have enacted similar ordinances restricting retail pet sales, including Palm Beach and Hillsborough counties, and most recently, Lake and Seminole counties. There are more than 1,900 facilities in the county that are licensed to breed dogs for sale, with over 165,000 dogs being kept for breeding. Mayor Teresa Jacobs said in a memo that these retail sales may place profits above animal welfare and could hurt efforts by the county animal shelter and its partners to find homes for animals in their care. The Board of County Commissioners directed staff to research the possibilities of a countywide ban on retail pet sales. Staff will bring the ordinance to the board later in the year. In another canine-related item, board members held a discussion regarding the proposal of a doggy dining ordinance. The proposed ordinance would apply to unincorporated Orange County to some restaurants that offer outdoor seating and would like to receive a permit to allow patrons to dine with their dogs. Municipalities such as the City of Orlando, Winter Garden, Winter Park, and Edgewood already have a similar ordinance in place. Mayor Jacobs had originally suggested the doggy dining ordinance about a year ago to the county administrator. Restaurants such as Yellow Dog Eats in Gotha can serve customers with their dogs in outdoor seating. Staff from the zoning department was directed to draft an ordinance and it will then go to the Planning and Zoning Commission. If recommended, it would then go to the Board of County Commissioners. The board hopes to get the ordinance passed this year. The tentative 2019 MSBU rate for curbside collection services was presented to the Board of County Commissioners for approval. A municipal service benefit unit provides funding for an essential improvement in a specific geographic area within the county taxing district. The proposed rate increase is for several components of the rate, including a recycling improvement program. As discussed in the December 2017 Board of County Commissioners meeting, there are challenges in the recycling markets and a need for outreach. The Board approved garbage, recycling, yard waste, and large item collection services to be set at $230, which is a $10 increase from last year. Emergency Manager Ron Plummer provided the Board with a hurricane recap of last season and 2018 hurricane predictions. Forecasters predict one to four major hurricanes this season and between 10 to 16 storms. Orange County Emergency Management is ready to serve residents and visitors. All were reminded to visit www.ocfl.net slash storm for updated information and to download the OCFL Alert app. During the Employee Service Awards, the Board of County Commissioners recognized Orange County Environmental Protection Division's Assistant Manager, Liz Johnson, for her three decades of contributions to the environmental profession. Johnson, a certified environmental professional, has been recognized nationally by her peers with the 2018 Kramer Award. The Dr. Richard J. Kramer Memorial Award for Environmental Excellence was established by the National Academy of Board Certified Environmental Professionals to recognize extraordinary achievements of individuals in the environmental profession. The award is named after Dr. Kramer, who devoted his life's work to superior environmental stewardship. These have been the highlights from your Board of County Commissioners meeting for June 5, 2018. To view the entire meeting or individual agenda items, go to ocfl.net slash meetings.